welcome uh, to Newegg Now. My name is Georgia Hershberger. We are coming to you live from Newegg Studios in Southern California. Uh, yeah, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell. We had just a little momentary, we were seconds away from launching and we get the Windows prompt on our uh -huh. main machine that we Windows should reboot update. our system. <laughs> so Not, our script no. was just gone. Now, uh, we're here each and every <laughs> Thursday talking tech. Uh, so thanks for tuning in because yeah. otherwise it would just be Trisha and I making fun of each other. And talking about tech, which is by ourselves. regularly. I mean, we do that. That happens. That, that, that's the thing that happens. But without you guys, and you make it so much more special. Um, much more special. And uh, <laughs> Newegg Now is also special because we bring you the latest and greatest PC hardware and gaming gear that you want, and then share discounts that you can only get through this very show. I really feel like Microsoft like has perfect timing for putting you on the spot in oh, the moment. Uh, no joke, <laughs> like every live stream I do. Something happens. Not it's just beautiful. here, like every live stream I do, Windows is like, would it. you like to restart Dude, now? It. It's, e it's either that or, or, or like, <laughs> Norton it wants me to update something. So uh, wherever you might be watching us, hopefully mm -hmm. on a functional computer that's not trying to reboot on you right now, uh, you'll want to open up newegg.com slash newegg now. We've got an entire deals page, special promotions mm -hmm. that are only going to be live for today. Mm -hmm. We have deals on the Corsair One complete gaming PC, the Lenovo Explorer mixed reality headset. Brand new. Brand new, brand yeah. spanking new. Uh, and a couple of really interesting portable gaming options from a company called Games and great prices on PS4 Slim and PS4 Pro consoles. I thought you were going to say from a company called Sony. You may have heard of them. You may have them. heard of this little <laughs> outlet from Japan. But seriously, it's going to be a great show. We've got lots of really cool gaming deals today. And of course, more than anything else, today's show is about the way that you control your game. So we're also going to have deals on a uh, great keyboard and mouse from Corsair and a wide variety of controllers and fight stick options for both PC and PlayStation gamers. And we have lots of fun topics to discuss. Trisha and I mm -hmm. are finally, <laughs> a, a, after weeks of protest and threatening to walk off the show. That's not true. That's completely not true. <laughs> um, we're finally having our first gaming head to head. Yay! I'm taking her down. Uh, downtown. Which I would say I'm taking her never, straight to the winner's circle not at in the your top of the wildest podium. Dreams. However, She's absolutely going to the uh, down to the top of the winner's heap. Is, I, I need to work on my smack talk. That's that's good. That's uh, but Juan actually uh, did some studying <laughs> last so, night okay. and this so morning. So we're doing so injustice it, too. It's we're, gonna be a fair fight. We're breaking. I think. We're, I, uh, fair is a, is, is a tricky word there. Um, we uh, we're we're gonna be breaking in some Ninja Turtles in Injustice too. And I've spent eggshell zero amount of time playing Injustice Two, so I'm like That's looking not up, true. looking. Well, I mean, like like at five, least forty five minutes today. Forty. Okay. This now, now, now it's it's on. Anyway, it's that's happening later true. in the show. Uh, we want you to share your <laughs> thoughts in the comments uh, on YouTube or on Facebook as you watch along. Thoughts on the whole show, not just on our uh, noob Injustice Two play. Yeah, definitely. But share your thoughts and comments. We want you guys to be a part of the show, or you can tweet uh, to New Egg using the hashtag New Egg now that works too we're always interested in seeing your build pictures and shots of your gaming setup at home or if you have any questions or comments anything like that send them to us and this week we also want to know about your preferred mechanical switch type for your keyboard because we're going to be talking about that a little bit your thoughts on controllers versus arcade sticks yeah. for fighting games and anything else that you want to share about how you like to control your PC or console. Because it's all about control. And we put out a call a few days ago on Twitter for people to send in their photos. Yeah. And, and I think we've got one here now. Ooh, let's if see. I can pull this up here. I believe it's Justin. Okay. Uh, I always have to like full screen this here. Let's let's click on his build. Are, are we can we throw to the to the laptop? Yeah. So again. I am really stoked by some of the builds that are working in more ambient lighting. And like black and red builds are always gonna look really, really cool. Um, but he also gets super bonus points. Like Nick, New for Egg Ninja cat. Nick, <laughs> wanted to put him up at the top of the list for the cat. So <laughs> uh, apparently you will always curry favor with the New Egg Ninja team if you include adorable pet pics uh, with your build. But I mean, his entire setup here is very well considered and I'm sure the EVGA posters are are, uh, are, are pretty golden there. I, actually, I, the EVGA reps are probably pretty stoked about that too. Yeah, so. I, I'm, I'm digging the walls too. Yeah. Very cool. Very you have, you have a, a cool den. Uh, we'll check back Good later job, on Justin. in the show with more of your pictures, comments, and questions if you send those. So send everything in. Right now, we're going to get things started though for the show with a look at gaming, mice, and keyboards.
right, we're talking all things controllers today, and we've got to start with the PC side of things. We have mm -hmm. to, it's mandatory. Uh, the good old keyboard and mouse setup. Yay! Keyboards and mice, um, I think, are deceptively complex. It's not something that everyone gives as much thought to as they should, but you PC gamers and builders out there know that there are huge differences between a high-performance mechanical keyboard versus a membrane board that came shipped with your office computer. She said, not with any trace of disdain. Um, the, the main <laughs> thing you have to ask yourself when you're buying this new keyboard is, what are you going to use it for? And you know, that's a tricky question for a lot of tech. I mean, because we get questions a lot in mm -hmm. our personal channels, like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. And you, you're like, well, should I buy phone A or phone B? And you're like, well, what do you want to do with the yeah, stuff that yeah, you're planning really on spending personal. money on? So if, if you're using it to play some serious competitive games, that's very different than someone who's just trying to write articles or get schoolwork done. Mechanical keyboards tend to be more expensive, but that's because each key has its own dedicated switch, and they also tend to be more accurate. So they give you more tactile and audio feedback when you're typing. Membrane keyboards, on the other hand, are softer and less tactile. And so if you've decided that a mechanical keyboard is right for you, then you have to consider which switch type. And you'll hear people refer to the color of switches because the companies that make these mechanical components, like Cherry, for example, probably one of the most recognized names in this mm -hmm. space, they differentiate that feel and that sound by the color of their switch. So uh, Cherry's red switches are some of the more popular options and are preferred by a number of gamers. Mm -hmm. But Cherry also makes brown switches, which are a little lighter, a little quieter, and often used for typing. Indeed. Uh, most keyboards with mechanical switches like these come in more than one variety of switches, so you need to make sure that you know what you're looking for. The color of your switches usually doesn't affect the way the keyboard looks, uh, but it <laughs> right. does make a big difference when you're typing. And since some switches are much louder than others, you also need to consider whether you're going to be using your keyboard in a private room or in the middle of a crowded office. I am always that person in an clack. office that's like, clack, 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 clack. Well, I feel no remorse, though. No, none, none because at all. Because clack uh, is the way to go. Clack is the best. I mean, like, I'll be in the middle of a podcast. Like, I'm supposed to be, you know, like, discreetly <laughs> typing something, and you can still hear off of my radio mic, yeah. like, tuck, 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 tuck. So I, ha I had it flipped last week, because last week I was saying I thought I preferred brown. It's blue. Yeah. I like blue switches. So yeah, that, yeah, the, yeah. that little bit of a pop feel on the blue switch with mm -hmm. the audio. The, that audio tactile quality helps so much when you don't want to be sort of trying to reference whether or not yep. a command has been input. Right. And so I, I tend to veer more towards the louder, the harder feel and the clackier keys. I do the same. Um, it, it just, it, I, don't, I, I, I don't know that I have a specific reason. I think that's just what I've always preferred. And so when I am in an office situation where I'm using an office computer, one that is not mine, but right. it's loaned from a company, and I don't have it, I feel like there's something missing from my life. So I have a, I have a hypothesis on this. Okay. To, to stray from your notes, Nick, sorry, we're gonna jump off track again here. <laughs> here we go. Um, <laughs> you, you, you came up at a time like early in PC gaming. Yes. I came up at a time early in PC gaming, and I think a lot of those computers had those big, chunky, mm -hmm. Tandy or IBM style keyboards, and I've always associated that feel and that sound with how a keyboard should work. Like it's like it should be one step lighter than an old school typewriter. Right. Well and that's what I was gonna say is even prior to PCs, if you ever had to type anything for school on a typewriter, like I feel like the people that came from that are like, oh, nostalgia. <laughs> um, but in addition, it has some very serious gaming advantages if you are a uh, like an, an, a specific type of gamer that yeah. needs that feel. Um, so switches are super important, but there's also other factors to keep in mind when it comes to keyboards. Yeah, totally, because I mean, we've spent a lot of time talking about RGB. Mm -hmm. So the customization of your desktop and your battle rig is critically important for a lot of builders out there. And uh, keyboards are one of the easiest ways, the most popular ways to show off RGB in your space. And uh, RGB with specific keys, depending what type of games you play. Plus, macro That's keys really cool. are common on gaming keyboards, perfect for you who play a lot of MMOs or RTS games. So keep an eye out for that. These keys allow you to map complex functions to one simple button press. <laughs> and these keyboards will often have extra buttons along the edges to use with those macros. Oh, totally. And, and there are also other lifestyle considerations, too. Like, I don't think I could have a keyboard now without USB pass-through. 
Oh, God. You know, like routing cables all around your desk and, you know, being able to plug in a peripheral or, or like charge a phone or well, just having extra ports that are handy right there. Yeah, I don't have the desktop real estate to keep my tower on my desk. Maybe so that. I do keep it underneath my desk. I know, judge me, it's fine. I'm um, a filthy casual. But I don't want to have to crawl under my desk every time to I need in. to adjust a USB or, you and know. For as good as they've gotten, like, USB hubs don't always seem to work well with different types of peripherals they so that pass through not. for whatever reason seems to have worked more consistently for yeah them. it's really really nice so as we were saying it's it's important to think about what you want from a keyboard before you buy one if you're just typing maybe spring for some more expensive switches and not go for heavy rgb or macro keys um how portable do you want it to be is it important to you to have a metal base uh or a braided <laughs> cable do you want a 10 keyless board to save space or do you need that 10 key well actually that that i was gonna ask you do you do you use a, a mini board or do you have like no, a, I have full, a full I have a full with a 10 key. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, something about number pad too. Again, because I'm old, <laughs> like if I don't have a, a calculator stapled to the size of, side of my keyboard, I can't function. I feel like I spent the time to learn this. I, I'm, I'm so not I letting it go. It. I'm going to keep that. That's, that's for <laughs> me. So while we're talking about gaming peripherals, let's also talk about wireless options. Wireless mice and keyboards have been around for a while. I mean, mm -hmm. definitely for convenience and again, for like document editing, super, super handy. But now they're getting to a point where there's almost no, late, no latency, basically no latency really in this connection. And Corsair's K63 is a perfect example of this. Uh, this is the one that you went hands-on with at CES. Yes. We've, we've seen in video a couple times. Yeah. It's got all the functionality of a wired keyboard, including those cherry switches and media keys but just no wires to tie you down. And uh, what I really liked that I saw at CES was that K63 also works with Corsair's new wireless lap board, yeah. which is perfect for couch-based PC gaming. Totally. I don't know if any of you have ever tried to do uh, couch-based PC gaming where you have like a trackpad off to the side or that you're trying to balance on your thigh with like no. a keyboard on the desk and you're doing this to try no. to keyboard and mouse it. It's a nightmare. <laughs> it's really um, nice. So uh, getting hands-on with this and having it be a completely wireless lap board setup was really really cool um i was playing destiny 2 is i think what we mm -hmm. were playing in that demo and uh yeah it, i i did not notice any latency it was really nice oh that's really cool and especially because yeah, I, I, I know you're also not i mean like you'll you play first person shooters you're not super no they're like, not my favorite first person <laughs> shootery but i'm not a, i'm not an fps aficionado if you but will but i would say you know like <laughs> part of one of those things that can color the experience is like you know is is this tying me back in a game that I'm already not as familiar with? Well, like, I'm much better on keyboard uh, with oh, keyboard totally. mouse than I am with oh, controller. We're definitely going to be um, getting into that later in the show. Yeah, but to have that Debate. ability to do that on, from like, my living room couch instead of my gaming setup in my office is, I think it's a really nice option. Super chill. Yeah. So while we're on the subject of those Corsair keyboards, uh, let's talk about one of the deals for today. And while we do that, we've got to roll this footage. This is like some of the most talked about footage that we've shot. I mean, for all these amazing systems that we've built and the Newegg Ninja team has put together, like oh, it's, this it's one. dumping Mountain Dew into the K68 Ugh. in slow motion. It makes Whoa. me cringe every <laughs> single time I see it. So what you're seeing here is Corsair's K68 mechanical gaming keyboard. It's got cherry MX red switches and red LED backlighting. But what makes it really special and what we're showing off with this ridiculous Mountain Dew pour is that the K68 <laughs> is both dust and spill proof. And uh, word on the street is that it's still somewhere in the Newegg studio. Yeah, uh, apparently like it smells like candy is what oh. people told me. that it, They cleaned it all out, everything's still functional. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to take your word on that. I will not be <laughs> replicating the Mountain Dew test. 100% <laughs> anti-ghosting, dedicated media keys, mm -hmm. macro programming support through uh, Corsair's Q software. Yep. And it comes with a wrist rest. That's, you know, because oh, the ergonomics. So nice. All in a package that can survive the hazards of gaming life as a gaming keyboard. Uh huh. Uh, so even if you aren't planning on spilling anything all over your board, the K68 <laughs> is a great mechanical <laughs> keyboard with the ultra popular Cherry MX Red switches. And through that Newegg Now page today with the promo code, you can get it for just $59.99, which is $30 off the normal price. Not too shabby. Hit up newegg.com slash Newegg Now. Check that out. And now that we've got keyboards covered, let's talk a little bit about your mouse. Let's so do it. Just like keyboards, uh -huh. you're going to want to think about what you're using your mouse 
before before you go out and make a purchase. If you're into PC gaming, you know the importance of high DPI and polling rates. There are programmable mice with tons of buttons, there's all sorts of RGB options, there are also wireless and wired options and even trackballs for those of you who might want to try something different and uh, maybe a bit more ergonomic. I, I mean, one of our new egg ninjas, uh, Mm -hmm. Ninja Leo, uh, he, he... I was gonna say, I won't mention him by name. I'm calling him toss out. Toss him out, Leo. Because, Leo, you're probably wrong, but we still love you. Um, but he's he's totally into first-person shooter with the trackball. Like, like moving the trackball is kind of like grabbing his character by the skull and, like, manipulating where he's looking and stuff. You so, know what? You know... You do you, man. You do you, because it sounds crazy, <laughs> but that's... You, you, Dude, I think if it's working for you... Don't settle for anything less than what's perfect for you. Yep, so indeed. That's totally. So you have just uh, said that you would not like to use a trackball. What do you use? <laughs> uh, well, I'm I'm using your old Yay! rocket. So I I, I had a, a mouse mishap and and Trisha was like, well I've. I've got this this old I mouse in a box. I have an extra one. <laughs> I was like, I will take that. It now. wasn't even in box. I was like, I can give you the mouse I'm currently using <laughs> because I have a new mouse oh, in box that I want to try out. So, so, so I, I do I do use a, a Microsoft Sculpt for a lot of work. Okay. There's something about the slimmer lower profile for video editing. I've just kind of gotten used to that that particular aspect of cutting video and yeah. from an RSI perspective. But the second I switch over into anything gaming, I, I need that chunkier grip, the nice thumb rest. Yep. And the ability to customize the uh, the responsiveness on the fly is yeah. such a big deal. Such a huge deal. Um, I can't tell you how many times I'm, uh, you know, like blind playthrough of something, and uh, on stream I'm having such a hard time, and uh, all my viewers are like, "Adjust your DPI." <laughs> I'm like, "Yep, yep, you get it. That, that would have been that, smart for me to do right before move. starting this game." <laughs> uh, one thing that's really important to keep in mind is that DPI. Uh, or dots per inch setting. Most mice these days provide more than enough DPI, which is basically the sensitivity setting. So the higher the DPI, the more your cursor will react to tiny movements. Mm -hmm. It's generally better to have a mouse that's capable of higher DPI, but beyond a certain point, most people aren't going to use, I would say most people aren't gonna use those very high DPI settings. I mean, occasionally that can be a benefit. Like say you've got a really big dual monitor setup, mm -hmm. and you don't wanna have to have a mouse that's that true. requires travel all the way across. Some of these gaming uh, evolutionary hardware adjustments can be beneficial in the work world too, mm -hmm. but obviously the main reason why we've sort of gravitated towards these kinds of solutions are very twitch, very quick movement types of games. Yep. So, you know, most modern gaming mice have a button or two that allows you to adjust that on the fly. You can tweak mm -hmm. exactly the sensitivity that you want, and it makes a big difference when you move between different games. A first person shooter, yeah. I need a lot more twitch than I need for like a top-down RTS. Well, and sometimes even different weapons in different games. Yeah, that's a big deal too. Yeah. Definitely. Um, polling rate, on the other hand, is how often a mouse reports its position to a computer. So if a mouse has 125 hertz polling rate, then it reports its position to the computer 125 times every second or every eight milliseconds. Whereas uh, a 500 hertz rate means that the mouse is reporting its position to the computer every two milliseconds. So a higher polling rate can reduce the mouse lag you experience in really fast paced games. I mean, it's incredible that as humans, we actually have gotten to a point in competitive gaming where yeah. that those types of differences matter. I mean, it's incredible because I, I'm obviously not a sensitive enough competitor to feel some of these, but you'll see people who genuinely do benefit from, from that kind of... Yeah, it's inspiring to watch. <laughs> it's, it is very <laughs> aspirational. So the shape of your mouse is also important, whether it's ambidextrous, mm -hmm. right-handed, the correct size and shape for your grip. This is kind of one of those things where it is kind of nice to go brick and mortar to check out some things yeah. before ordering and stuff too, because getting your hands you like the, the the opposable thumbness of this, you kind of do want to play a little or, bit. Or go to your friend's house and see what kind of mice they're using. Or if you're like me and don't like to leave your gaming den, uh, the you can- comfort of your glowing rectangle. You can read reviews online uh, to get other people's opinion. I always look for the, sometimes okay. I'll just uh, like search for tiny hands. <laughs> I just search for other people reviews that are like, I have tiny hands, and this worked, X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, all right. Uh, I, I, I don't know that anyone's really leaving comments on, like, right thumb being stumpier than left thumb, but... Um, <laughs> you, you never know. I, I should actually do a, a custom search for that. So if you're looking for a gaming mouse at a great price, just head on over to newegg.com slash newegg now. Check out the Corsair Gaming Saber RGB, mm. available through the end of the, end of the day today 
while supplies last, just $29.99. That's a really great deal. It's got full RGB lighting across four distinct zones, 10,000 DPI, mm -hmm. 1,000 hertz refresh rate. Mm -hmm. It's lightweight. It's only 100 grams total weight. Um, eight programmable buttons. And once again, that's just $29.99 through the Newegg Now page today. Only. And there's plenty more we could say about keyboards and mice, but uh, you know, we also have a lot of other stuff to get to, and I keep taking us off on strange tangents. So uh, <laughs> don't forget to send us your photos and videos yeah. on the Twitters. Mm -hmm. Tweet at Newegg with that hashtag, Newegg Now. Uh, share your comments, questions. We actually do, we got another question coming in too. Uh, uh, something to talk about cord cutting. We'll yeah. cover that at the end of the show, so that'll be a fun topic to, to talk about. And wherever you are, the, the YouTubes, the Facebooks, wherever you're watching along, join the discussion because we want to have that chat with you. Since we're doing this live, let's do it. Uh, but don't go anywhere because we will be right back and we're going to be talking about virtual reality. All right. Welcome back to Newegg Now. Today's show is all about the way we control our games, and you can't talk about game controls without talking about VR. True. Virtual reality has redefined how gamers interact with games across the whole technological spectrum, from simple phone-based VR to console-based experiences like the PlayStation VR headset, and up through the latest wave of Windows Mixed Reality headsets from companies like, I don't know, let's say Lenovo. I what a strange company just to pull right off the top of your head. Because, ah. you know, <laughs> we actually have a discount on Lenovo's newest mixed reality headset. What? As part of Newegg Now today. <laughs> the Lenovo Explorer headset is available right now. It's a Windows mixed reality headset. There's a library of games to play and software to enjoy that's already out there. Super Hot VR, which we played before, I think mm. on this show, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, even Windows Paint in VR for those creative streams. Uh, this is a very new item and normally costs about $299 for the headset on its own. But with that promo code on the New Egg Now page, you can get it for just $199 today. That's huge. Yeah. I remember the very first generation of like cinema headsets, like thousands of dollars to recreate like a 720p TV like yards away from you. And now like... Yeah. $200 thing, strap it to your face. Like, that's crazy. $100 off a brand new VR brand headset new. from Lenovo. Yeah. I, that's a great way to get started. Uh, like, like Trisha was saying, so many apps, tw uh, 20,000 Microsoft apps, a bunch of AAA mm -hmm. games. I've just started playing with some of the 3D updates in Windows 10. Yeah? Yeah, so I mean, like, even Paint, it's so silly, but their 3D object tracking and Do you rendering love it? is like, it's kind of cool. Cool. I mean, as, as like a, an well, easy way. Well, that's not what we do for a living. No, not at but all. Is, but that being said, even then, you're finding it kind of cool. It is kind of, I mean, yeah. it's a really easy way to get people into the experience of manipulating that, too. Mm -hmm. And it also offers a number of interesting ways to kind of control your experience when you're interacting with content. Totally. And, of course, there are VR motion controllers. You can use an Xbox controller, a keyboard and mouse, or even Cortana voice commands. Uh, a VR headset and voice commands. Like, that is, we're there. That's Star Trek. I, I like it. That's, that's, I want to <laughs> just talk at computers and make them do the things what I say to tell them. The Oasis is almost here. Uh, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about controlling games in VR. Uh, what kind of experiences stand out for you, Juan? I have a few that I can think of, but what, what stands out for you? Well, so I mean, this is one of the interesting things, because I've been trying to shoot 360 video. Okay. And turning over control of a passive video consumption experience to the viewer. Oh, it's so hard. It's really hard. And I get a lot of frustrating comments like, I really wish you would just point the camera at what you want me to look at when I'm feeling like I'm giving you the freedom to explore a space 
by rendering out this video. It's a different kind of storytelling. It's, I mean, we're still yeah. at the very beginning stages of sorting this all out. So I think the game that really did seal VR for me was super hot. Super hot VR is really smooth. A very simple demonstration of what you can do with individual hand controls from a fixed perspective. Well, and body movement. And the body you know, movement like, is you know, so fluid. Cool. I mean, if anyone is sort of you know trying to find that action-y kind of killer app for introducing another player mm -hmm. to VR, I think a horror experience can be kind of fun if you think that that person's going to be into that. Like zombie games are always kind of neat, no, no. but Super Hot is so simple and it's so the wireframe is so accessible, the animation that I think it's one of the least intimidating ways yeah. to get someone playing in VR. Yeah, and abduction in VR is really beautiful. If you have people that you know just are are in it for the gorgeous graphics and the gorgeous <laughs> games, that's a great way to go. Um, yeah, uh, I did the John, Have you done the John Wick demo? No. The, the, I, so I did. Cool? I did the demo on the shooting gallery, and again, the simple things of like how you cock and load guns, and yep. so like it all fits together in a way that like I'm at a shooting range. This works really well. There's a video of me on YouTube totally failing to play that game, which is pretty hilarious. That the Zotac guys were all making fun of me while I kept dropping my gun. Well, that happens sometimes. Uh, uh, the <laughs> Vive tracker <laughs> peripherals are really nice. You can attach those to things like tennis rackets or gloves or a ton of other um, like outside the box controllers and then use those, that's really neat. Um, things like uh, the Virtuix Omni where you can actually run around and it's like a concave kind of stay put treadmill. Uh, so you're actually running in the game. Yeah, would you really put fun. one of those in your home? To Dude, yes. I, I mean like I was looking at that like that, that would be more space efficient and more fun than a treadmill. 100% yes. Come on. Come on. Yeah, or like the VR Zoom uh, bike, exercise bike. Oh, I haven't tried that. Oh, yeah, man. It's very cool. They have their own software and stuff that goes with it, but VR headset, bike, make it happen. Although, um, I, I like for, for bike, I would, I would worry, like, I'd need to have replaceable pads in my headset. Cause oh, because it'd be too sweaty and gross? I, I'd, be, I'd be a little humid, yeah. I don't kind of gross. Just wipe it down, you know. Just wipe it down. I don't um, know. But yeah, lots of different control <laughs> options out there. VR opens up all these possibilities. And so, uh, you know, we've mentioned uh, games you play standing in a room scale environment, but VR is also popular mm -hmm. for racing games, flight simulator games. Uh, for those specific kinds of games, VR headset can complete the setup that uh, we've, 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 uh, we have going on with like a driving wheel and pedals. Okay. Or uh, this is the acronym on my page right here, a, a HOTAS. I'd, I'd never, Nick gave me the thumbs up. Thank you, Nick. Uh, that's a hand-on throttle and stick setup for flight simulators. Uh, I've not heard that before. I, I've not heard, uh, I've not I don't play flight Hotas. sims, but. I love flight Hotas. sims. So uh, we, um, we we did spend a little time with a, with a flight sim on one of these side techs. I spent point. very little time because I had like an anxiety attack, but you spent more time with it than I did. Super realistic. I, well, we were playing with other people and it, it's being thrown into a game where I'm letting team members down when I don't know what the objective of the game is or what the tough. controls yeah. are. It, it, it's like the actor's nightmare where you're thrust down on stage and you don't know what the play is. No, totally. I mean, you you want to do well, and then you're like, oh, my plane's just going to crash into this tree. I just, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for a system to uh, power any of the control systems that we're talking about, mm -hmm. any of these PC gaming experiences that we've been talking about, then you might want to take advantage of another one of our limited time New Egg Now deals. As part of the show today, you can save $300 on the Corsair One Pro Compact PC, plus you can get a $200 New Egg gift card to use on a future purchase. So save $300 plus you get a $200 Newa gift card. Pretty awesome. The Corsair One Pro is a complete system with an Intel i7-7700K CPU and a GTX 1080 graphics card. It's absolutely packed with power while also being sleek, compact, and quiet. Trey Petit. Now, yes. check out that promo code newegg.com slash newegg now. Look at the full specs and photos for the Corsair One Pro system and save a bunch of money if you decide it's the right fit for you. 
And you know what would go great with your new system? Mm. A sharp new gaming monitor from LG. True. Uh, on that very same new egg now deals page, you will find the LG 32GK850G gaming monitor. <laughs> nice. Thank easy, you. Easy for you to say. I practiced it. That was good. Uh, it's a 31 and a half <laughs> inch 2460 by 1440 resolution display with NVIDIA G-Sync, so it's a legit gaming monitor. It's got an ultra slim bezel and colored lighting behind that monitor as well. Really big fan of watching more manufacturers do ambient lighting. So you can find that LG monitor on Newegg.com mm -hmm. Newegg now mm -hmm. for $649.99. That's a full $200 off the normal price for this fully featured gaming monitor. And while we're on the subject of monitors, Juan, yeah. what's that briefcase thing that we're looking at oh, over oh, here? Oh, this thing right over here? Well, yeah. I, well Trisha, I'm, I'm glad you asked. This <laughs> is the Games Vanguard 190, and they call it a personal gaming environment. So it's essentially a 19-inch LED monitor and speakers built into a case that can also hold a console. And you can see here we've got a PS4 Slim in there, but I mean it should fit um, any console you want to. It looks pack super in cool. There. You can kind of fold it all up, and then on yeah. weekends it'll also double as a way to launch ICBMs. Yeah, I feel I feel like a secret agent. Totally, and you with just. That. <laughs> So the Vanguard 190 uh, works with anything that uses an HDMI out, and it's roomy enough to hold your power supply and controllers too. It is like really well considered for that one stop, pick it up, go. And you can take this anywhere, plug it in, and suddenly you've got a whole game system ready to play. Yeah, this is obviously fantastic for traveling or bringing your console over to a friend's house or to a party. You've got everything you need in one carrying case. Like yeah. really, you can use it anywhere and you can grab an outlet. So if you want to get a Street Fighter tournament going at your local Starbucks, this is the product for you. Why not? I mean, you paid for a, a $2 green tea. You For you, that Wi-Fi. You can sit there and <laughs> game some ga play some games. The Games Vanguard 190 is available for $2.99 today as part of Newegg Now. That's $50 off the normal price. Plus, we're going to throw in a $30 Newegg gift card. Nice. And Good there's time. also a special price on another product from Games. They're 15 and a half inch portable gaming monitor. Mm. It works with PCs, consoles, even certain mobile devices, and it only weighs 1.7 pounds. Nice. So it has an integrated speaker, and it only requires one single USB plug-in for power. And that monitor is also $50 off today as a part of Newegg Now. Not too shabby. Check out the deals on that Newegg Now page, and remember to send us your thoughts and questions, yeah. comments, and pictures. Leave us comments or tweet at Newegg with the Newegg Now hashtag, because we'll be getting to those uh, in just a few minutes. But first... Ooh. We're going to talk about consoles, fighting game controllers, and we are going head to head. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Newegg Now. So we've covered mice and keyboards, we've covered VR, but there's still one area of gaming that we want to discuss, and that is the console side of the story. So you can check out Newegg.com slash Newegg Now right now for some great deals in this category. You can save $30 off the normal price for a PlayStation 4 Slim 1 terabyte console, picking up the Star Wars Battlefront 2 bundle for just $269.99 plus a $20 Newegg gift card, or make that leap to the PS4 Pro for just $379. That's $20 off the normal price for that 4K capable console. And that will come with a $30 Newegg Now gift card. Uh, or Newegg gift card. Mm -hmm. we, should, we should do a branded Newegg Now. Newegg Now gift, gift card. card. <laughs> so you won't often find you know, console prices, you know, the, the fluctuation in console prices. You won't often find PS4s for those types of prices. So you'll probably want to jump on those. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, so Juan, we've talked a lot about our home PCs on the show before. But uh, what's your console situation looking like? So the wonderful thing about working in this industry and having a wife who also works in a part of this industry yep. is 
is we we need one for work. You're hooked up. Uh, well, yeah, like we need it. Yeah. Yeah, to get work done is so you know we can't. Not I feel like have. these are the excuses that I gave my parents as a kid. Totally. Like I need it for so school. I want to go back in time to little me and tell them, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a part. I mean, tell your folks you need to play on the Nintendo as much as possible because this is gonna be a big deal for you. But like, later it on. was not true when I said to my dad, like, I need more RAM for school. <laughs> that was never true. No, that that probably wasn't. <laughs> but now, I mean, we we get to benefit from your deceptiveness it's as true. a child. Um, no, we we uh, we have a, a PS4, and okay. uh, right now I'm um I'm going back through and doing some Crash Bandicoot. Cool. Because the remaster just came out. So yeah. again, just like with my PC gaming, a lot of it's more on the retro side. Like That's okay. Trying going back to the the warm duvet of my childhood memories well, and old classic games. PS4 has been killing it with the remasters lately. So yeah, you got those. you got the right console for you. Uh, we have, <laughs> and we have an Xbox One and a Nintendo Switch. Switch is, I think Switch is going to be my 2018 purchase. I was yeah. a little nervous about Nintendo after Wii U. As was I, and I did not pre-order the Switch right away, and then I was so mad at myself when all my friends were like, look at this awesome oh, game so on the Switch, and I couldn't get one. Um, and so, yeah, I think I got it for myself as a birthday present. <laughs> like, I like had some excuse, that I was like, buying this for me. This is a me present. Um, but yeah, so I've got a Switch and an Xbox One, but because I don't have a PlayStation, I'm missing out on all those sweet exclusives. Like, I'd be dying to play Shadow of the Colossus right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's but next. missing out on that. Oh. Uh, do you have a favorite console of all time? I, I, I think the console, you know, it's kind of like when you say you have a favorite film or best movie of all time, and mm -hmm. you're not really saying it's the best movie of all you time. You just but, like it. But, or it's like the, maybe the most influential. For right. me, I think the Super Nintendo was one of the most influential consoles okay. of all time and introduced so many new gameplay mechanics, new technologies, okay. and in an accessible way for gamers to kind of like living room warrior through through gaming. The, the improvements over the NES, and then after that, we see sort of that console bifurcation of all the different players that tried to get into the market. For me, SENES represents this little hidden gem of its time that those games are eminently replayable. Yeah, they're they're great. I mean, I for me, I have to go with nostalgia and personal experience as well. That the most influential console on me was the original NES. Oh, totally. Um, because that's where I went from. Oh man, this really simple game like Duck Hunt is cool <laughs> to like I can speed run eight two in Super Mario Brothers. Like you know, that's where I personally made that leap. Um, but yeah, it's great. So okay, let's talk controllers then. Okay. PlayStation versus Xbox versus Switch. So what's hilarious is we have the PS4 under the TV. I think my my preferred controller though, the one that I'm I'm I, I like to plug into my PC mm -hmm. for gaming is the Xbox controllers. Yeah. I really like the layout on Xbox, especially the way that the, the D pad is offset from the thumbsticks. Like I don't know why, it just that seems to work for me. I, I just dig it. Being a Microsoft house, there was no other choice. I mean, your, your <laughs> Xbox controller gets plugged in. But recently, I've been playing around with that uh, Xbox Elite controller. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were saying. And I like it. I mean, I haven't gotten a chance to play around with too many different genres, but it's got a heavier feel to it, and mm. I'm, I'm digging that right now. Yeah. And I, I like anything that has, you know, that I can customize to my game, and it's very easy to swap parts out if I want, you know, different paddles or D-pad versus um, like a circular thumb controller, I can do that. And that's really right. fun. Um, the Switch controllers are still a little bit wonky for me when they're on the side of the tablet because you can also use the motion controls on right. it. And doing that together, I'm still not great at. Um, how do you feel about Labo? Speaking of Switch controls, have you seen Nintendo Labo, the cardboard? Yeah, I'm very interested in seeing what Nintendo can do in sort of like a tech education gaming. Because Nintendo's always, always had funky initiatives. That's you know, what like, I love about them, Nintendo, though. They're Nintendo crazy. Paint, Nintendo Music, you could turn your Game Boy into a camera and then print out on like receipt paper. Do it! So this totally fits in with my image of them as a company trying to... Yeah blur the edges around just gaming as a lifestyle and then all the other things that we can kind of tack on to it. Now, I, so we've been talking about like, you sort of, you know, it's funny, we have a console conversation going where we keep bringing it back to PCs. PC gaming. Because we're new eggs. Uh, 
So you, you you do have to use a controller on certain games for, for your PC, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's funny because I feel like there's a lot of games that as soon as you launch them on Steam, it's like, we recommend you use a controller for right. this game, like, as it comes up. Cuphead game. is a perfect example there's of that. No, we, I, so when I first set it up for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. we tried. You can't Cuphead on oh, keyboard. No. That that That's not a thing. Yeah, no, don't do I don't recommend it. No, I, I, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> but, you know, it was, and it was funny, though. It was like, I'll never touch a first-person shooter on a thumbstick. No, like, I, I agree. Keyboard, keyboard and mouse, mouse all the way. Yeah. But, Different people feel differently about that. And they're wrong. Um, we have those PS4 console deals on the new Eggnow page, getting back on track. So if you're a fan of the DualShock controller, you're, uh, you're also going to want to check out the promo code for that one. You can get a DualShock, PS4, a DualShock 4 PS4 mm -hmm. controller for $34.99, $20 off the normal price. And that's kind of a big deal. Again, these $25 types of- $25 off the normal price. $25 off the normal price. price yeah. uh, these types of peripherals don't typically face a lot of price fluctuations, yeah. so you're going to want to jump on that pretty quick. I imagine that one will probably sell out fast. Yeah, people so, always need more DualShock controllers. Oh, always. So yeah, definitely check out. Uh, oh, uh, we also have another uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you should also check out the uh, Nikon Revolution Pro controller. That's $100 off the normal price today. It has some eSports friendly features and an advanced D-pad compared to the traditional DualShock. Good times. And so you may have noticed that behind us, here on, on the TV, as I do some awkward chair choreography, uh, we have Injustice 2, the DC Comics fighting game that released last year. Uh, fighting game fans might be the most particular people around when it comes to <laughs> the control implementation of uh, you know their, their game of choice. And I'm happy to report that we have a couple of fight sticks right yes, here behind us do. that we're going to try out in just a minute. So the traditional arcade stick is the most popular controller choice in the pro fighting game community. And for good reason, most fighting games are designed for it. I mean, there's actually a great article on Newegg's Game Crate site written by a fighting game expert that covers all you need to know about finding the right fighting game controller for you. And we have a link to that article in the YouTube description for the stream, so make sure to check that out if you're interested in watching on YouTube. Definitely. That article covers what a high-level player thinks about when choosing an arcade stick. How sensitive do you want the buttons to be? How much tension do you want in the, uh, the stick travel? Mm -hmm. When you're playing these games at pro level, I mean, that, that becomes such an important aspect of the discussion. Yeah, so uh, what you're going to see here today from us is most definitely not going to be <laughs> high pro-level oh, play. So many people are going to be so annoyed at how, how badly I'm going to play this game. Well, we're prefacing this is for fun, uh, <laughs> and I feel like Juan and I are fairly equally matched. So um, both of us have played just before the show with the Turtles, and uh, some of the newer characters, yeah. like Sub-Zero and Hellboy. And so, like I said, I, it, neither of us have a ton of experience. Not and uh, I, while I prefer fight sticks, I don't often get the chance to use them. Me and uh, Juan, you don't prefer fight sticks, right? So because I don't get to use yeah. them very often, fight sticks are the devil. <laughs> but not really. I mean, See, so, so again, and I'm the opposite. It's I'm like, because I don't get to use them very, very often, often, it's, it's a treat. Um, so, so it's like, you know, the first time I saw a pro-level player in Street Fighter do a, a Zangief standing 720 on a thumbstick, I thought, you know what, I'm good on controllers. I can just hang out there. But yeah, anytime, anytime I'm playing against someone who really knows what they're doing, or even someone who's just better at me at gaming, the fight stick's going to kick my butt every single time. No way, so, man. So uh, the sticks we're going to use today are from Kanba? Kanba. Uh, the Kanba drone, and that's the that's the cool. There's a bee styled one over here. Uh, yep. Well, we've got video that you'll see this. It'll look a lot better than me pointing over my shoulder. And then the other is the Kanba Obsidian. Yes, uh, the Kanba drone works with either PC, PS3, or PS4, and it's nice. available for just thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents with the promo code on that new egg now page, and that's forty dollars off the normal price. And on that page, uh, we also have deals on the Mad Cat Street Fighter V Arcade Fight Stick, the Razer Panthera Fight Stick. Lots of people are in the market for fight sticks right now. Uh, thanks to some really popular games coming out. Like, I, I really want to spend more time with Dragon Ball Fighter. Dragon Ball Fighter Z! It is so, I mean, the art direction in that game is, in, you, you really feel like you're playing the show. It yeah. is so well done. So if you or someone you know is looking for one, you have three different models to choose from, all at special limited time pricing. All right, enough stalling, Juan. It's time That's to fight. Let's okay. go ahead and roll that Injustice 2 Turtles trailer. And then we're going to turn around. Yeah. 
You'll be rage quitting in a heartbeat. Unlike coding, this will be easy. My training will see me through. You make Bebop look good. You will suffer, fool. I run a delivery service for pain. Justice 2, right here, right now. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were just added to the game this week, and we have them, so we're going to try them out for sure, along with some other crazy DLC characters, totally. perhaps. Wait, it's, it's, it. it's showdown. It's time. It's time. You're, you're going down, Trisha. Okay. So so who are you starting with? Because uh, I think I'm going to... I'm already set on Leo. I think I'm just going to... You're going to be a turtle? I'm Should we do a turtle-turtle turtle battle for the first can, one? Let's do a turtle-turtle. Let's, uh, let's, let's see what these, okay, uh, these guys Okay, so do. I'm going to be... Uh, let's see. I'm going to be the Donatello. General consensus is that he's the best. That's not the general consensus. That's just what I, me and Wes behind camera were saying. Uh, <laughs> I, I personally think Donatello is the best turtle, but people will get into well, that for all different reasons. I mean, reasons. From, from a literary standpoint, Leonardo is obviously no the way. most ninja-like. He's the most disciplined. Yeah, but He's... I don't care. Donnie's a smart guy. <laughs> but they're ninja turtles. Go with the smarts. All right, let's do random level. Ooh, Joker's Playground. Brainiac, Brainiac ship. ship. What's I'm it going to be? Brainiac. Brainiac ship. Here we go. All right. Oh, oh, sometimes it's best to lose a clash to preserve super media. Oh man, look at this entrance! Woo. Boom. I, actually, I, and I love that this is more, this is closer. Ooh. Oh, he's got the trench coat! Um, yeah, I like that a lot. This is so much closer to like the, the classic uh, Ninja Turtle. Um, oh, first blood. Not right, cool, bud. Oh, jeez, okay. Oh, come on, come on! Oh, you get him, did get him, the, get him, get him. The, the machine thing, now I can't... I'm what? Donnie, I throw machines. Smart and cool like that. Oh, dang it. Oh, Lord in heaven. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse you. <laughs> ha ha! Can I use that? Can I use that? Can I? No! I thought that was something in the environment maybe I could interact with, but I was wrong. Come on, come on, come there on. we go. But I didn't oh. hit you with it. And, oh. Oh, don't! Oh. All right. Yeah, en so enough of me trying to do cool stuff. I'm just going <laughs> to go for it right now. Oh, so the the problem is like the game that I've spent the most time on in fighting is Street yeah. Fighter. Uh, you know. Oh, <laughs> dang. Oh. Yeah, again. Come on. Eat it. How you like that uh. apple, Leo? Uh. Mhm. Mm oh, right, thank you, on. Master Splinter. Come on, come on. This is this is a this is not my best showing here. All right. Uh, come on. Oh, oh, sir! Juggle off the edge of the level, not cool. Excuse me. Oh, I was totally hitting the wrong side. <laughs> not what I wanted to do. There we go. Oh, Mikey. Thanks, Mikey. I'm not gonna get myself. Oh, did you? Oh, sir. <gasps> did so, so far, this is this is maybe the best I've done in one of these showdowns. Ah. Oh, please hit you. Go, Don't go, get too go, far go. away. No, I'm too <laughs> far away. Oh, now I'm mad. Oh, that thing draws you into it? What the heck? Oh, but I can't seem to hit you still. Ah. Oh, that wasn't what I intended. 
There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, dang, I can't even, like, I can't even get the feel for the block. Oh, I, the block is just back, isn't it? I could be was. totally wrong. I, you seem to still manage to smash. They're so cool and you guys are just wasting it. <laughs> I'm aware. I watched a video yesterday. <laughs> just, oh, I, oh no, I'm dead. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's proper dead. Yeah, dude. Um, I, I, I was trying to like just because I've played so little injustice. I, I tried to like look up a video and I, way out of my league. They're like, oh, well, this counter's like a seven frame counter. Like, I, I, I just need to know what the buttons are, and I'm not able. You're to looking hang for with. combos. Well, uh, one of the things I, I have not spent a lot of time with injustice too, but I have spent uh, a bit of time with the first injustice. And one of the things I really liked about it is how you can really play off the environment. So yeah. I'm always looking for that, and I don't know the maps well enough in this to know where they right. are. So okay, I'm going to go. Are you doing, you're, you're going away from the turtles now. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, I think I'm going to go Joker. Where is? Someone help me out. I'm looking for Who bats. Oh, Batman. Yeah. Let's try Batman. Always be Batman. Batman v. Joker? Really? You're going to do that right now to me? I don't know that it's going to help me that much. I don't want to root against myself. All right. Gotham City or... I mean, it makes Gotham way more City. sense to do Gotham City sure does. with Batman versus the Joker. I feel like that was an easy pick by, by the computer on that one. All right. Hoping to get a couple juggles in here. Let's see if we can make it happen. Come on. No. Come on. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yeah, yo. Oh. oh, right in the face. Sometimes I just gotta shoot you right in the face. Oh, hey, that. Ah, so yeah, I mean, like, Ooh. It, it is really, I mean, because I'm definitely not doing a very good job of Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. illustrating this, but I gotta say, it is really incredible that fighting games have gotten to a point where they're not all just like old school Mortal Kombat clones. You know, there was a while there where every game that came out basically just felt like, oh, dang. Oh! oh! Um, that just felt like it was Street Fighter adjacent. Um, and that's one of the things that I really like, uh, just getting a sense of injustice, was the, the actual, like, skill and combo things are really easy, but then all of the nuance from the gameplay comes from really putting those things together, which obviously, like I said, I'm, I'm not. Oh man! Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Boom! You Get just, in the chair. You just sit down, <laughs> Batman. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We're serving fried Batman tonight, friends. Bats back on the menu. I realize I did not hit oh. my buttons to oh, increase God. my special. Sorry. Well, I, I think the spectacle of you walking around. I was excited with, to see it. Yeah, I, I feel like that was. What did I just do? Something. It was pretty neat. Look at the SWAT guys in the background, too. They got a, there's a lot going on there. Uh, and I. Oh, no. Oh, I, sir, I'm don't always do way that. too far away when something like that hits. So yeah, this is this is like gameplay that I'm not super familiar with because of the way that you really want to know your counters. And I'm used to like, you know, having an in like that and having Why am I Come on, come on, come on. No, don't do not that one. No. Yeah. Oh, come on. Ugh. I keep throwing that when I don't mean to. Yeah, right. I know. I'm like trying to do stuff too and it's not oh man. Excuse me. What can I play with over here? Let's just go over here for a second. Can I play with any of this? Oh, I can play with that! Oh man, look at that sweet, impressive cape that you just showed me. Mm, mm. Ah. No! <laughs> no! We're gonna make no, this one. Sir. We're gonna make this one close, I feel. No! Oh man! Oh man! Oh. <sighs> no good. Oh god! Oh, uh, palms are Best sweaty. two of three, dude. Uh, knees weak, arms are heavy. Uh huh. I knew you were gonna get there. Vomit on my sweater already. Okay. You're not wearing a sweater. Um. So I feel like, I feel like, I, I feel like we should do like just a straight up random to random. Friend. Okay. You for go the tiebreaker. Random to random. For uh, the, yeah, for the dude. Tiebreaker? Let's do it. Ready? Right there. 
What's it and... gonna be? And I'm Aquaman! Oh! Okay, let's do this. Come back. Okay. Captain Cold. Here we go. Got a got a good Flash villain going. We're gonna. Oh, did oh. I did I mess yeah, this up? Yeah, some, somehow we. Yeah. Is... I got us back in. Oh, oh okay. no. Okay. Do you remember uh, who you were? I was Captain Cold. So where is where is he? Where where is my? Oh, I'm. Am I out? Oh, there, there you I go. am. You're back okay. in. You're back in. So where was Captain Cold? Uh, Ca Captain Cold is right down there. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he yep. is. Yep. Stay on target. Captain Stay on target. Cold. And I'm gonna. All right. Let's do it. All oh, right. we're in the Bat Cave. Oh no, we gotta decide. Um. Metropolis, no, Joker's Playground. I'm uh, maybe Gorilla City. Oh, just well, yeah, because Flash. You know, you <laughs> like a guy in the Flash and the city. Okay. Gorilla City. Gorilla right, city. Okay, here we go. All right, this is for this is for all of the the bragging rights and the internet. Look at my tight pants <laughs> and be scared. <laughs> I kind of That's feel like Captain Cold's wearing an outfit that you know, he's tying a sweater around his waist. I, um, Injustice, the first Whoa. Injustice was one of the, uh, one of the first times I have to say that I feel like everyone I know was like, Aquaman's awesome! <laughs> well, uh, I think you might have a little edge on Captain Cold here. Oh, no way. Oh, man. See, the thing is, like, I want to come in and attack like you do in Street Fighter, where you can do, like, you know, light, light, medium combo hits. And I am, I am way, oh God, come on. Oh! <laughs> right in my chest. I finally get the one cool. Oh! I mean, you're saying like we're evenly matched and you know like what all of their like, I, oh, is that the really I don't know what the buttons Cinematic are. shark attack thing, thing The shark stuff? attack is really cool. To be fair, the first Injustice came out years ago, yeah, I Juan. Know. <laughs> Did I tell you how I'm playing Crash Bandicoot? That's awesome, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, ha. All right. Oh, come on. I, oh, man. Oh. Can I use any of this? What can I use around here? Yeah. I stab at you face. Do that. Oh. Oh, that was my overhead. All right, yeah, I want to throw that when you're oh, halfway oh, across just, the screen. I just did some fancy things from far away. <laughs> oh, that was silly. That was a good delayed Get reaction. Up, sir. On. Come on. Oh, no, don't throw the overhead when you're halfway across the screen, Juan. Oh, yeah. That's when you throw the overhead. Dude. No, no. Get away. I'm just going to keep poking you. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, oh! Yes! Take it! Your body is getting chewed on! Who's the sushi now? Captain Cold. <laughs> who's the sushi now? We made it to who's the sushi now. I love it. All right, well, uh, uh, I'm going to wipe my hand I know, off I'm a sweaty hand. From, Here, elbow bump. And, and we'll elbow bump. Good game, uh, dude. Good game. Definitely GG. Let's I, put these uh, back. Yep. I appreciate you taking the time to fool me on that. I, I think that was much more of a fair, much more of a I got fair one. match than you led it out to be. I got, I got, I got one win you in did? with the Batman. Yeah. I really feel like it would have been a major letdown to lose with Batman. Okay, well there you go. So I, I at least achieved my own personal victory there. That's and I'm awesome. Glad I was able to share that with all of you. Uh, guys, if maybe Street Fighter V is more your speed, we have a deal on that for PS4 as well. So check out that new egg now page for that. Uh, just nine dollars. Good time. Uh, now we've probably spent way too much time beating each other up in Injustice 2. Totally. So uh, let's check and see if we have any pictures or comments oh, sent in by our viewers that we can check so out. Let let's see. make it about you guys. I think we do have. What do uh, we got? What do we got? So Leo shared a picture here. Let me see if I can open this in a new image. Oh, not in a new tab. Come on. Juan, do the computer stuff. Oh, that's not a picture we can show. Oh, hilarious. It's super tiny, but it's well, that's all right. really cute. Show off a tiny pic. Tiny. Can, it, can, I, can I blow this up at all? <laughs> I, 
This is the link that Leo put in the chat. Leo's not here to defend himself. Um, let, let me see. Let's, let's give credit to. Uh, oh, 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 no, no, this, this is better. This is better. It kicked Great. me out of grips. Oh, so and it's beautiful. So I'm this so glad really we're nice. actually seeing the large version, huh? Oh, no, that's great. And especially, like, the, the blue lighting. And I love wrong. that he's got that yeah. uh, the, the blue microphone, the blackout edition, right next to this all black setup with that keyboard looks what really What keyboard sharp. is that? That's the Corsair K95. The Corsair K95, K95. Yeah. keyboard. Looking keyboard. good. Yeah, really. And, really and nice. is that the is that the Xbox Pro controller? Uh, that is the Elite. Yeah, with yeah. the paddles and yep, yep, yep. Looking cool, man. Mm -hmm. Looking very good. All right, let me see if I can get back into the chat because we did also have a question that I wanted to get to. Okay. Um, yeah, whose system was that? Whose build was that? I don't. Uh, I, I I've got to get back into Glyph. Sorry, guys. Samuel. I, I, Samuel Elberson. That was from Samuel, Samuel Elberson. Elberson. Thank you, Samuel, for sending that in. And. Uh, I'm just going to log back. If you want to see all my user credentials, they could have just showed you everything about oh my, my personal account there. Are you um, that upset that I beat you in Injustice 2, Juan? That I had to wreck the show? It's yeah, thrust. yeah. I'm, I'm going to cry later. <laughs> it's, uh, so so uh, this one, this, I mean, we don't necessarily need to go to screen grab. I just wanted to have this back up here. We did get a question uh, at the end of last week's episode. We were talking about cord cutting. Yeah. Um, and talking about just some of our different solutions for TV and streaming media. And this came from a Twitter user, at Brian Knoll. Okay. Uh, Brian asks, I love the idea of cord cutting. I still think it has a long way to go. What do you guys think? Oh. And so um, you're, are, you're not on any, are you on a traditional cable TV package at all? Unfortunately, right yes. I'm okay. locked into a contract with a company oh. I will not name, but I'm not happy about it. Um, uh, when I moved, I was forced to re-up, uh, but the only reason that we have said cable package is because mm -hmm. my husband is a large sports fan right. and he can only get the games he wants to watch using said that cable package. package. Um, but the only things that I watch are Netflix, Amazon Prime, and HBO. So I have zero reason. To keep the to, cable package. To, yeah, I, I want to be a cord cutter, and we've actually agreed that as soon as our contract wears out, that's what we're going to do. So we we you are. finally extricated ourselves mm -hmm. from our cable package. So for, for us, it was the last season that Vince Scully was calling Dodgers games. And we had to up like three tiers of cable to get, because of that really obnoxious exclusive deal on Dodgers content. Ugh. But we paid it because Vince Scully's awesome sauce. Okay. So it took us months <laughs> after that to finally untangle ourselves from it. And now we just pay for, for broadband uh, through that cable provider. But we switched over to YouTube TV. Mm -hmm. And there are some compromises in just like what channel packages you can get. Yeah. But literally every couple of months we're getting notifications like, oh, hey, we're adding new, new channels. So Valentine's Day, they drop off that they're adding TBS and TNT along with like three others. We get like five different sports channels like – a web DVR and you can watch it from basically any portable device that has a web awesome. browser or a screen on it. So we've been really happy. I, obviously, it kind of comes down to what combination what of services that you're going to want to do. But, you know, we're, we're doing YouTube TV, uh, Netflix and Hulu. Okay. And that's covering our bases really well. Well, because Hulu gives you the newer stuff, and I think what Brian's saying, where you know a lot of people feel like it's don't, it's not quite there yet, yeah. are the people who need, you know, I need to see the latest episode of whatever came on last night. I need to see the latest episode of Riverdale, and it's brand new. Um, I still haven't gotten on the Riverdale. I love it. Uh, it's a guilty pleasure. I love it. <laughs> um, but Hulu fulfills a lot of those new episode needs. Yeah. So I mean, I don't think that cord cutting really lives or dies by one service. So you don't get that one-stop shop experience that you get from like a cable provider. There are people trying to make that happen, trying. but I I prefer a la carte. Yeah, and so one of the benefits is with with YouTube TV, uh, mm -hmm. Netflix, and Hulu, we're spending so much less uh, than we were for that expanded cable package that we had before that when something comes out that's sort of a one-off, we don't feel terrible about buying that season. Well, and it also and makes, we're still under our, our price cap. It also we makes paying. me happy because then I can support online creators whose content I enjoy. That's a good point too. Um, which are never bundled in with cable packages. No, no, no definitely. Uh, not. So you know, if I want to support them via Twitch subscription or Patreon or whatever it may be, 
I then have the extra income dedicated Definitely. to entertainment that I can do that with. So I think that's a nice option too. Um, but guys, we are almost at the end of the show. But before we go, we should take a quick look back at some of the deals that we talked about. Once again, make sure you go to the newegg.com slash newegg now page to see all the deals and take advantage before they expire. So you can save on the PS4 Slim or PS4 Pro consoles or both. We weren't, we're not going to judge. Um, extra PS4 controllers or your choice, choice of a few different fight sticks, mm -hmm. including the Kanba drone model we just tried out where Trish is kind of like pile drive me. With, not uh, true, you want a match. With Aquaman. On the <laughs> She's like, not true, I let you win one. That's not true. Uh, on the PC <laughs> side, you can find special pricing on the Corsair One Pro Gaming PC, the Corsair 68 spill-resistant keyboard, the Sabre RGB mouse, that LG G-Sync gaming monitor, and the Lenovo Explorer VR headset. So I just got, I just got a message from Marie. She, she wanted me to give you a, a GG. So, uh, so Marie, Marie. My, my wife just saw my channel too. <laughs> so many deals today. Make sure you check them out on the New Egg Now page before they are gone. Thanks to the people who sent in photos and comments for this week's show. We're having a lot of fun with the getting you viewers involved with yes. uh, with getting the show up and running. So send more stuff our way. Send more questions our way. Some some fun topics that we can get into. We can debate on. We can chew on. And uh, remember to tweet at New Egg with the New Egg Now hashtag if you want to be a part of future episodes. Yeah. So thank you. As always, everybody, for watching. Thank you to the New Egg Ninjas and the crew that make this show possible each and every week. You guys are awesome. Our showdown up. That uh, was awesome. Yes, thanks for letting Juan and I finally play games. <laughs> um, we will be back next week talking all about displays. This has been New Egg Now, and now you know. Bye, guys. Bam.